Hi, welcome. My name is Ida and welcome to Dinners with Ida. Today I'm going to be following a recipe for vegetable carbonara pasta and it's supposed to be really quick really easy and I was really craving it and I'm actually like walking distance from a restaurant but I was like you know what let me just save some money and make it myself so the recipe today that I'm following is from recipesfromitaly.com so I'm actually just gonna link it below if you just want to go right ahead and just read the recipe but if you want to hang out with me and cook together then be my guest so let's get started in terms of ingredients they're pretty simple so one thing that I'm doing different from the recipe that I'm following is that I'm gonna be using cherry tomatoes instead of um, carrots but everything else should be pretty much the same what you're gonna need is pasta so I have 350 grams of spaghetti right here and if you're wondering how much that is you can take a look <laughs> four eggs about 250 grams of cherry tomatoes one zucchini onion i'll use like half of this one parmigiano reggiano cheese the real kind that you actually have to grate yourself salt and pepper to taste um, water for the pasta of course first things first we're gonna start chopping our veggies actually let me start with the onion because to me that's the most time-consuming one make it nice and small so that when you're actually eating it you don't get like huge chunks of onion overpowering the whole bite <laughs> next thing this is a zucchini cut this into like very thin strips so i'll just start like that i guess into thirds oh man this onion's making me cry um and then from here i'm just gonna do as thin as i can this looks pretty nice how often do you cook do you cook every day every other day maybe you cook dinner every day but you do like breakfast and lunch on the go i think that's pretty common in north america breakfast and lunch is kind of like whatever and then dinner is like your main big meal and now that i live in north america i've kind of like adjusted to that but I remember growing up, the big meal of the day was lunch. Alrighty, the zucchini is good to go. I think that's pretty good. Bigger ones and some smaller ones, but it is what it is. Alright, last for the veggies, I'm just gonna um, cut these in half. Done! Okay, perfect. The most time-consuming part is done. Okay, so the next part is to grate the parmesan cheese. Mmm, smells like parmesan. Okay, so recipe says you need 100 grams of the grated parmigiano. I'm not using the biggest one I'm using, or the smallest one, kind of like the medium one. So I said the most time the sweet part was done, I, I lied. Okay, so I cut off the rind to make it more manageable. I mean, if this is not the right way to do it, please don't come for me. I'm just trying to make it easier on myself and yeah now it's going a lot more smoothly you know what i'm just gonna do all of this weigh it out and then if i have leftover then i could just put it in the fridge my handy dandy kitchen scale that should be about right let's go and i should have just done this in a bowl to not make this dirty <laughs> okay so for the cream or like the main sauce the idea is to um, mix together the eggs and the 100 grams of cheese. All right, into the cheese. Check it out. 
eggs and cheese. I mean, who doesn't love that? <laughs> okay, so now that we have everything prepped and ready to go, we can head over to the stove and start putting all this together like magic. Um, I already have a big pot of salted water. Once it starts to boil, we can add the spaghetti and the idea is to start cooking the veggies while the pasta is already cooking um, just so that we don't have like pasta sitting around and getting sticky and you know we want it to be the best that it can be okay water is boiling so let's add our spaghetti so definitely follow the cooking instructions for your specific brand that you're going to be using so for mine it says that um, eight minutes should be good for al dente consistency, so going to set my timer for that. In the meantime, over medium-high heat, I have this nice big skillet, and I'm just going to heat about two tablespoons of olive oil. Remember to keep mixing your pasta occasionally. The oil is looking pretty nice and hot, so just add the onions first since this is what takes the longest to cook from all of the vegetables. So, And I just have to say that I love, 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 love the smell of onion frying in olive oil. It's, oh, it's the best. And garlic too. But we're not using garlic today, but I'm just saying I love it. <laughs> Add a little salt, maybe a teaspoon, whatever you like. And yeah, these veggies are pretty quick. So I think in like three minutes or so, they'll be ready to go because we don't want them to be mushy. And the pasta timer is almost up in like a minute. so. Timing is of the essence because we want to add the spaghetti in here as soon as possible and not let it sit around for a long time as we wait for this to be done. So let's go drain this over there at the sink. Perfect. I'm going to add the spaghetti in here. Oof, hot. <laughs> Give this a light toss just to combine all the veggies together. And actually, at this point, you can turn off the heat. So I just turned it off. Removing this from the heat for the last, last step. All right, the moment of truth. Now we're gonna add our egg and cheese sauce mixture thing. And the reason why you wanna do this off the heat is because you don't want to create scrambled eggs so it has to be off the heat so I'm just gonna mix part of it in oof I'm already seeing that nice creaminess and I haven't even added all of it yet all right let's do the rest so freaking good. I'm so excited. Ugh. That sound though. I can't believe how simple it is to make this. Like, time to serve. Roll it up like this. Wow, that looks so professional. Like, guys, if I can do this, you can do this too. And you get so much, like, um, as I said, four servings, right? Sprinkle some more cheese. The original recipe says, you know, freshly ground black pepper, but Sorry, I don't have that today. I'm not that fancy, but I'm just sprinkling a little bit. All 
Okay, time for the ultimate taste test. Check it out. Ugh, this looks so amazing. Mm. Buen provecho, or because this is Italian, buon appetito. Mm. This is amazing. 100%, you should make it too. And I can't believe how simple it was, so... I'm gonna go over there to the couch and put on some TV shows and finish enjoying this because this deserves all of my attention. But for now, thanks so much for hanging out with me and following along with me for this recipe. And if you enjoy it, just leave a like and check out a few more of my videos. I'm trying to be more consistent with them, but you know, life gets in the way like an actual work. Let's see what else I can come up with for the next video. But up till then, bye. Mm-hmm.